EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Baltimore Ravens and the Houston Texans. This is taken about seven yards deep and no run. Back here, this will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. They run. It's Mark Ingram. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. Try and throw for it with Jackson. And my goodness, this is incomplete. Jonathan Joseph there on the coverage. And that could be a major momentum swing here early. Because the defense stopped them. How great is that? They go for it on the first drive of the game. They're the ones trying to establish something, trying to assert a little dominance. And guess what? You turn it back on them and give the ball to your own offense. I agree with you. It can change momentum in a big way. Now a first down throw, Watson. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Houston. DeAndre Hopkins, 60 yards. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning balls turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go, still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over.
So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as he'll start at the 21-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. Check 24. Check 24. They run from the pistol with Ingram. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And the Texans scoop it. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And last time the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook, one play drives exactly what you want on offense. But they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. second down the positioning here is key as a defensive back you're taught 99 percent of the time make a play on the football but in this case making a play on the man was all the difference that's what forced the incompletion so second down and 10 once again they'll go from the 40. throwing again is watson escaping the pressure right he's gonna look deep in zone for hopkins and this is gonna wind up incomplete the coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. Those third windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. So back-to-back -to -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. From the gun, here's Watson. Flush to his right. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the ten. That's good for 28 yards. from Miller. Now Watson. Complete. It's Johnson. They'll give him a yard on the play and it'll make it second down. Three, 
think. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Defensively, that's Earl Thomas, the all-pro safety, knocking it free. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Again, it's Watson. Steps away to his left. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Two first quarter touchdown passes now for Deshaun Watson. And the Texans push further out in front. Two excellent drives for them to start this game, both ending with touchdown passes. Yeah, they're up and running, even though they finish things off through the air. Got to like what you're seeing from them so far. Being able to maneuver offense, take care of the football, and then ring that bell at the end. But as you said, two touchdown passes. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. You always hear about empty possessions. A some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it down here and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Give me that ball, defense. Give me that ball. They'll run on first down. It's Ingram. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. On second down, Ingram. And he's got this down to the 35. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. First and 10 at the 35 yard line. From the gun, Jackson. This will be caught by Bowman. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 23 yards, the final tally. First red zone chance now for the Ravens. They've got a first and 10 at the 11. From the gun, it's a run for Ingram. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the eight. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Out of the gun, they give to Ingram. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So they looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Justice Hill there to make the grab as they are now on the board here in the first half. It took a pretty big risk right there going for it on fourth down, but hey, not only did they get the first down, forget about that, they got in the end zone. Yeah, because normally you're just thinking, can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up a first down? Instead, they go for the end zone and get it done with no margin for error. Remember, fourth down, they went for it.
The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tackle and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. A good pick up there at 22. The first down carry now for Miller. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On second down, it's Miller. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Dancing to his left. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. Chris Wormley in there to get him for a loss of three, and it will be fourth down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And now they're going to go for it. This isn't fourth and inches. This is fourth and 14. Push him back. Push him back. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Crash, crash. Check four, check four. Check four. Check. Watch motion, watch motion. Hey, 31. Six, six. Hey, alert 48. Alert. Hey, we're going to mic the 48 right now. Let's go. Hey, hey, I'm coming, I'm coming. Mike, 48. Mike, 48. They're going for it. It's Watson. Gets to him again. Michael Pierce in all of his 340 pound glory gets the sack. And partner, I'm not really sure what in the world they were thinking on fourth and long there at this stage in the game, but you think social media may be firing up a little bit right now? Oh, the, the coach is trending right now. All right, there's no doubt about it. People are wondering what that decision was. But it takes me back to a number of years ago. A very successful coach in the league had told himself before a playoff game, he was going to be aggressive. No matter what, he's going to be aggressive. And it ran his team into some real problems early, and they got upset in that playoff game. Let's see if this team can recover. Well, that's aggressive in capital letters with glitter, seven underscore. I mean, that's that's the definition of aggressive. Yeah, you can almost hear the cheerleaders doing the be aggressive chant behind him, and he listened to it. the pick up there. Move the chains. On first down. Ingram. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. It's a 6-yard pick up and it gets him to 2nd and 4. A 10th carry here for Mark Ingram. And he will maneuver his way down to about the 7. And he got half of what he needed there. 2 yards. And it'll bring up a 3rd and 2 more. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Mike, 55. Right there in the middle, 55. I hope you brought your left because I'm about to take you Third and two, here's Jackson. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. 
That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give him a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give him a touchdown in that situation, right? Made him kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you got the lead. It's definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I like where they are in the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. in the pocket, but when he's forced out of the pocket like that, he can make those big plays downfield. Almost a bad thing when you're pass rushing and you force a Deshaun Watson out of the pocket. He creates extra time. He has the poise to keep his eyes downfield and locate receivers, and it turns into a little bit of a scramble drill for the defensive back. Where is everyone? And Deshaun Watson finds his target for a big, big play. Final 17 seconds of the half here as they come up to the line, first and 10. From the gun, it's Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. He's going deep. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Turned back across his body. Bernard McKinney, the linebacker, picks it. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? You're just feeling it. Going deep for Hopkins. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tony Jefferson. Now he will be brought down as time is now run out in this first half of action. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It's the Texans in front, and they're going to get the football first as we are back underway in the third quarter. That's it, baby. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And last time was it pretty one play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play and give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Not at all what they envisioned on third down, three yards in the wrong direction. Back to throw, Watson, flushed out right. And he will not throw it away. He goes out of bounds, well shy of the line of scrimmage, so that's a sack. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. Here we go. Six the outlaw. We ain't giving up nothing. 
Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. Mike, Mike, 55. Check, 55. Mike. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson escaping the pressure. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And the Texans scoop it. And this one will be brought back to the 22. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. They practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And, we... and now this is intercepted. My goodness. It's the former Seahawker, Thomas. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Tucker now to add the point after. And he's got it to make this a 21-17 game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Fresh off the pick six, it's Watson. And got his man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It'll go as an impressive 31 yard game. Now Watson, they'll find Meadow. That's complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25 yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. They'll run on first down. Johnson. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Watson. Steps away. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Cornell McPhee always a threat to find the QB, and he gets to him there. Watson throwing on third and long. Flush to his right. Hill it. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Ravens take over first and ten at their own 11. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass first lead, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. Ingram again, a first down carry. And not much there. Maybe a yard after the 24. On second down now, it's Ingram. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Ravens on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This time they face a third and two. Now Jackson. And now another 
turnover as this one's intercepted. Picked off around the 41. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And put it on the board. It's six, a touchdown. And I don't know who all is to blame there, but I love seeing pick sixes. Nothing like seeing someone pluck it out of the air and go the other way and see people try to change directions. Hard to do. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fair catch, made it at 25 yards. Let's go, boys, let's go. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. This one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 36 yards on the play. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Forced out to his left, and he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. It's a game of five. Brings up second and five. Throwing again on second down. Jackson. And he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. Lamar Jackson, his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are back within a single score. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? Oh, <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to you on the other side of the ball. Said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? So when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Throwing again on second and ten. Watson eluding the pressure right. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. The improv act, they're good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. To throw is Watson. Buying time to his left. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. It's Miller, and I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. They'll try the air now with Watson. Flushed out right. And look at this. 
Yes, they get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. Baltimore with good starting field position as they come up first and 10 at the 45. After the interception, here's Jackson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Throwing now is Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. Finding some room at midfield. And finally taken down at the 44-yard line. That would have broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Now Jackson. Got him in. It's Brown. Evades the tackle. And now some space. 23 yards in the play. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. He's got the first down. Oh, no, he lost the football. Plays like this when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll look to run with Ingram. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll make it second and goal. Back to throw. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. with the extra point. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. They practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. First and 10 at the 41 yard line. Set, 19! Right, 50 yards, right there. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. 58, come on! 58, come on! Coming! 59 is up! Back to throw! And he can't get a throw away! He's taken down! 
The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. field before going out of bounds. A big one there for the Texans, 18 yards. He's back to throw. Steps away to his left. He's going to let it fly. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. throw deep down and he's got it it's caught for a touchdown and they have taken the lead here in the final seconds might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight the home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead there's nothing like being aggressive preaching that to your team and then following through all the way through go ahead and throw one more up there why not been a great game and we are not done yet Fairbairn good with the extra point. And it would appear, barring some late heroics, they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. Let's go! Let's do it! The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then check maybe take that check shot check. deep. And once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on kill. defense. Of course, no kill, one kill, getting kill. behind the defense and make it an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster. It's that guy that's short in the end zone who comes up. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They'll look to throw. Flushed out right. He's going to let it fly. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by the corner, Bradley Roby. And that is going to seal this victory as time runs out. Well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here, coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones. But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, five plays are going to be the ones you focus on. And that last play was one of them. The last shot had to take it, and they came up with the interception and sealed their victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.